We are in weather alert day mode for tomorrow because we could see some possible ice in the area with freezing drizzle expected throughout much of the day tomorrow, especially in advisory areas that you see behind me. So let's go through this here. First off, winter storm warning. Valentine to Shadron beginning tomorrow morning, going until noon on Saturday. Winter weather advisory also starts in the morning for Ainsworth and O'Neill. Now around the Kansas Nebraska border, that winter weather advisory begins at 6 a.m. going into your late Friday evening, even midnight in the southeastern part of the state and then around Grand Island, York, Hastings, towards Omaha. The winter weather advisory begins at 9 a.m. and goes until late Friday for Grand Island, Hastings, and York, and then all the way to noon Saturday around the Omaha area. Now, for tomorrow, this is mainly due to the fact we're going to see freezing drizzle in the area. So let's kind of go through the timeline here on what we're expecting Friday through Sunday. Chance of freezing drizzle begins in the morning goes through the afternoon and then Friday night changes over to a possibility of snow. That possibility of snow will continue into Saturday. Temperatures on Saturday likely to remain in the single digits above zero throughout much of the day and with a north wind at 20, 30 gusting to 40 miles per hour, wind chills 15 to 30 below zero expected Saturday, Saturday night and then starting to get a little better Sunday morning, but still 10 to 20 below with just that little bit of a wind because our our temperatures are probably going to start the day on Sunday going to be around 6 to 10 below zero. So a very cold morning for us on Sunday. There's kind of the timeline. So how much precipitation are we talking about overall? Well, I think as far as the icing goes, I'd say less than a tenth of an inch. Anywhere from a trace to probably about five hundredths is where many of us are going to end up. But even that could cause slick conditions on sidewalks and on roadways, especially elevated surfaces. So be aware of that. Snow Friday night to Saturday, dusting to an inch. Uh, for us, uh, but maybe up to two inches in some locations. And then wind chills Saturday into Saturday morning, as I mentioned, 10, 20, even 30 below zero. So why freezing drizzle versus just snow for tomorrow? Well, there's going to be a warm layer aloft in the atmosphere, so it's really only going to be right at the surface that we're at freezing. So any snow that develops aloft will melt and then freeze on contact. But then as we head towards later Friday night to Saturday, it's cold enough throughout the atmosphere that it's going to be all snow for us with any precipitation that moves through. Now we had a little snow in the northern part of the state this morning. It's been cloudy otherwise for us. And as we go through Futurecast here, I think the cloud cover remains. Even though Futurecast not really showing it for the evening, it will be there for us. Mostly cloudy, if not cloudy. And then Friday will be a cloudy day. That possibility of that freezing drizzle as we go into the afternoon. Snow in the northern part of the state around Shadron and Valentine. And then we see that precipitation, that snow starting to make its way a little further south southward Friday night, maybe even getting a little break in the precipitation around the Tri-Cities, Lincoln and Beatrice Friday evening before overnight Friday night into Saturday. Here comes a batch of snow. This will be our best possibility Saturday morning to see accumulating snow in south central southeastern Nebraska. This will taper off as we get into the afternoon and then high pressure settles in Saturday night into Sunday and therefore why we're going to see bitterly cold temperatures to start the day on Sunday. Temperatures right now are sitting mainly in the 20s and as we go through this evening we'll be dropping to around 20 by 11 o'clock tonight mostly cloudy not worried about any precipitation but by 7 a.m freezing drizzle possible temperature around 17 by 3 o'clock we're at 29 freezing drizzle possible so watch out for some possible icing conditions on those roads and sidewalks in the afternoon east wind at 5 to 15 miles per hour bitterly cold as i mentioned on saturday i think we start sunday at nine below zero with wind chills as low as 15 20 below Low. 18 for your high Sunday. We get to the upper 30s Tuesday, Wednesday. Another chance of seeing precipitation as we head into next Thursday. This forecast could change as we go through the rest of tonight and into tomorrow and even Saturday. So stay tuned to the latest forecast. We'll definitely keep you up to date on the latest. More news heading your way next here on NBC Nebraska News at 5. Well, welcome on back. That freezing rain and freezing drizzle throughout the day so far really has made travel very difficult across much of the state. So again, uh, really through the rest of this evening and really for much of the weekend, you want to give yourself a lot of extra time to get where you're going safely because those roadways are extremely difficult to drive on right now. Winter weather advisory uh, in effect for central and eastern Nebraska, including the Tri-Cities and Lincoln, until 6 p.m. Saturday through the rest of this evening. We'll look to continue to see those areas of freezing rain and freezing drizzle. 
late tonight and early tomorrow morning. We'll look for that uh, freezing rain and freezing drizzle to turn over to all snow, and then we'll look to see that snow continue through the early afternoon on Saturday. Then. After that snow is done, we turn our attention to some dangerously cold wind chills. We have wind chill advisories that are in effect from 6 p.m. Saturday until 11 a.m. Sunday, and we're going to be looking at potentially wind chills for the Tri-Cities as cold as 25 below zero on Sunday morning. So some very dangerously cold uh, temperatures expected here over the next several days, and even colder across the far northern part of the state where wind chill warnings are in effect uh, for the same time frame. They could see t temperatures as cold as 40 degrees below zero. Radar and satellite composite currently again looking at generally cloudy skies. We haven't seen any of that snowfall, but again, we have been looking at those areas of freezing rain and freezing drizzle. Uh, it doesn't really show up on radar, so dif very difficult for us to track uh, in the uh, weather center. We zoom out and look at the state as a whole. Again, generally looking at cloudy skies. Uh, areas across the far northern part of the state have seen some significant snow this afternoon. Shadron already picking up about six inches and starting to look at some more snow developing uh, just off to the west of the North Platte area at this time. So as we look at your future cast here over the next 48 hours, the clouds aren't going anywhere and that freezing rain like I mentioned late tonight and early tomorrow, that will turn over to snow. By 2 a.m. looking at uh, some snow across portions of the central part of the state for us here in the Tri-Cities. Our best chance for snow I think again going to come early tomorrow morning by 7 o'clock. You can see those air, uh, a lot of snow across the central part and eastern parts of the state. Not only will it be snowing behind a cold front that's pushing through, winds will also become very blustery. So we'll also be looking at areas at blowing snow uh, to add to the ice on the ground and the snow already coming down. Uh, the good news is, if we can find any in all of this, is that the snow should move out fairly quickly by 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, already looking at that snow pushing to the south and east out of the area. And then actually Saturday afternoon into the evening, we'll look for clearing skies. So skies will clear out, but that will also allow temperatures to get even colder as we move into Sunday morning and then for much of Sunday, looking at mostly sunny to sunny skies. As far as snowfall potential is concerned, not a big snowman with this system about a trace to about two inches for much of central Nebraska and even further to the east uh, towards the capital city in Lincoln and out further west towards North Platte. The heaviest snowfall is going to fall across the far northern portions of the state. Now future temperatures, uh, don't take these exact numbers as gospel, but uh, this is just to demonstrate as we move through the rest of the night, temperatures are going to continue to fall by midnight. These are going to be our high temperatures for the day. Again, give or take a few degrees. I think Hastings is actually a little bit cooler than this. But as we work our way into Saturday morning, uh, by 8 o'clock, we're down to 11 degrees. By Saturday afternoon, we continue to fall. We're down to below zero by Saturday night. So temperatures tomorrow and over the next 24 hours are going to continue to fall. And if we look at our future wind chill, it is going to be dangerously cold. By Saturday morning, we're looking at wind chills between 15 and 20 below here in the Tri-Cities. By Saturday afternoon, around that 20 below mark. And then as we work our way into Saturday night and into Sunday, between 20 and 25 degrees below zero. So some very, very cold temperatures in store. In fact, I think we'll have about 36 hours straight of below zero wind chills. So by 10 o'clock tonight, 19 degrees with some areas of freezing drizzle still possible. North winds between 20 and 30 miles an hour. And as we head into tomorrow morning, around five degrees by seven o'clock, those winds still remain very blustery. And then by three o'clock tomorrow afternoon, a temperature of around two degrees. That seven day forecast though does hold a little bit of hope because we're talking about low 40s for the majority of the work week next week. Just have to get through a very cold weekend ahead. That's your complete forecast. Don't go away. More news coming up.